Hello everybody, Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you live from Menasha, Wisconsin. Oh my gosh, I think I'm about a minute late. I'm so sorry. Let me change out my glasses so I can read comments coming in. Um, I was so desperately getting ready for tonight. I just wanted one more card to share with you. So um, I got that done. Uh, my girls who are coming on here who watched our team meeting today live, I made the extra card with the Please Des Punch Designer Series paper. So I'll be showing that to all of you in a little while and the other cards that I made with it too. Had a blast with this paper. Hi, Terry, Sarah, Kathy, Karen, Donna, welcome. Donna says she had a sunny, good day in Washington. Good for you. Hi, Marsha, Kathy. It was sunny here in Wisconsin, too. Um, I had a team meeting this morning, which was super fun. I always love our team meetings. I also have uh, a bunch of our swap cards to share with you guys tonight. So I'm excited about that because they're outstanding. Hi, Jay. Hi, Jody. Norma, Connie, welcome. Everybody's popping in here. Gilmore. Um, for those of you who ordered my Painted Poppies online class, that went out on Friday night. Uh, you should look for an email with a PDF file in it. And then for those of you that ordered my Tropical Oasis kit class, that went out Saturday. There was a little delay with that, but um, it's good and I got it out. I am expecting to put the Tropical Oasis... That's not the right one, is it? Hang on, let me think about this. It's not Tropical Oasis. It's the birthday bonanza. Tropical Oasis was ages ago. Uh, birthday bonanza class is my kit class for February. I'm hoping to get all that cardstock in here, cut and out in the mail to you on Friday. So be aware of that. And then the Painted Poppies class, I'm hoping to get out in the mail, the pre-cut cardstock packs the next week. But if you ordered those and you didn't see that come into your inbox, I want you to do a search for my name, Kelly Atchison, and that usually will bring up the file which has been thrown in your spam folder or someplace else. So just wanna make sure you know that. Let me grab my little bin over here. I'm feeling just a tad bit discombobulated, but not bad. <laughs> We're going to be fine tonight. Um, I had to clean my office, you guys. It was such a disgusting mess. And um, I, I train with Rhonda Wade, and that is one of our challenges this week. And a challenge that I put out for our training for my team this week is to clean your space. And I find that my space is almost always a mess. But when it's cleaned up and I have things put in their places and I see white space on my desk countertops, I just feel like I can really get busy and start designing. And it's like my head is clear. I'm feeling good. Like Steve came to the door about an hour ago and I had the whole end of my table cleaned off. And he's like talking to me about, I don't even remember. Don't tell him I didn't, I, I didn't listen. He was talking to me about something because I didn't care what he was saying. I'm like, look it, look it, look it. And he keeps talking. I'm like, no, look. And he finally looks. He goes like, oh, yeah, nice. <laughs> so I was like, I know, right? I'm just so proud and happy when my space is cleaned up. I see Rhonda just shared my video. Please make sure you're pushing that share button. You can do that right now. That really, really helps me out. I appreciate it. A uh, couple things. What's happening this week? Um... I will have my Wednesday tip video on Wednesday. When we're done making the cards for tonight, I will get them all um, photographed and edited and loaded up to my blog so that I can then post um, everything we make tonight on my blog. You're always going to find a complete shopping list there. You can scroll down my blog and you're going to find ink pads and cardstock and um, a complete shopping list of what I used in case you have any questions about that. You're also going to find underneath one of the photos for each of the projects, uh, the dimensions. I always love to give you guys dimensions because when I'm out looking for ideas online, um, I really love it when people give me dimensions so I don't have to think too hard because <laughs> some days it's a little harder than others. <laughs> Hi, Bev. I see that my um, Optavia health coach just popped in here. So 
I don't know what you guys had for supper. I want you to tell me. Share what you had for supper. Hi, Michael Deal. I'm excited to see you. I haven't seen you in a while. Um, for supper, Steve made me grilled chicken breast with um, lots of seasonings on it and Swiss cheese melted on the top. Mm. And then he got out his Instapot and made me some carrots. So that's what I had for supper tonight. What did you guys have? Tell me all about it. I love to hear what everybody's eating. Um, okay, back, squirrel, back to um, stamping. <laughs> Hi, Becky. Hi, Cindy. Hi, Connie. Thank you for the share. Thanks, Beth, for the share. I really appreciate it. Um, make sure, whether you're watching me now or when you watch me later on YouTube, you can click on the share button there, too, and share my video. That really helps. Hi, Haley Jade. Haley's been sending us Snapchat videos of her laying down with her belly and she'll videotape it and you'll see that boom, boom, that baby's kicking like crazy, that little weedly. <laughs> Did you guys catch my video from, I don't know what it was, Friday where I talked about she's due on 420 and Steve's calling the baby weed and the baby's middle name is going to be Lee, but we don't know what the first name is, so we're calling her weedly till she's here. Don't be mad, Haley. It is kind of funny. <laughs> okay. Um, I think Ashley and I have decided that, oh my gosh, Cindy says pretzels, crusted pork chops, and potatoes. That sounds delicious. Bev, my Optavia coach, is eating air fried pork and roasted vegetables. Good for you, Bev. Yeah, I've been doing really good. I came home from my cruise. I was about oh, four or five pounds up, you know, after vacation. That's to be expected. And I do retain a lot of water with salty restaurant food. But I'm back down to within two pounds. So, rocking this thing. Um, Where was I? Squirrel. <laughs> oh, back to Ashley and I. I think that our kit class, and I do have to look at the um, back order report. To see what's happening with that. But I think our kit class for March is going to be with the Honey Bee bundle. So you're going to love that. And then I'm not sure what my online class is going to be for March. But I'll I'll get advertising out for that pretty soon. Jay says, you crack me up. Thanks. Robin made beef stew. I love beef stew. Steve makes an awesome beef stew. Um, yeah, so I ran into Kathy Miller. She's one of my friend's team members at the grocery store the other day and it was funny because I was complaining that Steve had not fed me since we got home from our trip like he was not cooking so I was having to kind of fend for myself which I'm completely capable of but let's be real he needs to feed me and um I was complaining to her that I was at the grocery store I was starving to death he hasn't been making any food since we got home la 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 I get home and there's a plate with a cover on it keeping it warm of um, pan fried, like uh, in olive oil, pan fried shrimp, um, sauteed mushrooms and onions, and then a little slice of tomato in the middle that he fried and put cheese, melted cheese on top. I had to message Kathy right away with a picture of that because I was like, I was just complaining that he's not feeding me. And I told him that too. Just complaining that you weren't feeding me and then I come home to this deliciousness and the house just smelled divine. So that was kind of funny. All right. Um, we have some, let's see, I have some mail to share. And I think I'll share the mail at the end today because I've got quite a stack of it here. So, gosh, you guys, don't let me forget to do that, okay? Because I love to share my mail with you guys. Can see all the pretty things that I'm getting and of course I love to thank everybody for the pretty things because pretty things make me very happy um Debbie Gilbert said she could not believe the cards that I had at the class are you talking about the card buffet I had a card buffet on Saturday we do 16 cards and everybody that attends gets to pick which eight they want to make so it is really a buffet yeah. Hi, Ashley. Happy to see you here. Jenna. Woo. I'm happy to see you too. But um, the card buffet was fabulous. We had a full house. There was a lot of people. And oh, Nancy's in the ER with the flu stomach bug. That's not fun. So sorry. Wishing you the best. Debbie had roast potatoes, carrots, and gravy. Oh, one of my favorite meals, Debbie. I love those. Hi, Wendy. Sue, happy to see you. And April says he's a keeper. Yeah, I know. He's a really good cook. And he did meal prep all week. 
We've got um, grilled pork chops in the refrigerator ready to eat. Um, what else is in there? There's some other things. He, I think he made broccoli. He boiled some eggs. He cooked up some breakfast sausages this morning because he thought I had them in the fridge too long, but I didn't. And then he didn't know, but so he cooked them. So at least they're cooked. That's fine. Maybe tomorrow I will make him some buttermilk pancakes because I'm really good at breakfast. Like I love waffles and French toast and pancakes, of course, because they have maple syrup and I love sugar. <laughs> Debbie had a salad. She's inserting a grumpy face. I'm so sorry, Debbie. Maybe tomorrow will be a better food day for you. Speaking of, we're going out for Jared, Haley's husband's birthday. Tomorrow night, we're going to go to Red Robin for dinner, so that should be delicious. What was my Valentine's Day dinner, Diana wants to know. We went um, out to lunch, actually, and we had fish fry. I had haddock and waffle fries for lunch, and it was delicious. And then we went to a place called Waverly Beach, which is right on Lake Winnebago, to see if we could see them bringing in any sturgeon, because it's sturgeon spearing right now in Wisconsin, um, sturgeon spearing season, and we didn't see them bring in any sturgeon. But I've been watching them on the news. They're catching sturgeon, so that's good. But yeah, I had um, haddock and waffle fries, and their cold slaw was delightful. I love a good cold slaw. So that's what I had for Valentine's. Oh, and then we... Gosh, there was so much. I, I'm like, I didn't do anything. I did a lot. Then that night, I got ready for the card buffet, and I kicked my butt in gear and got that all ready. And I happened to meet Anna, and she picked up Steve and went out for cocktails with friends. So I ran to Fat Sammy's and had a cocktail with Anna and Steve and some friends. So that was fun, too, Friday night. Then card buffet on Saturday. Then I took a great big old long nap. And then I was up to the wee hours, of course, working on my team meeting. And uh, how do you fix sturgeon? Well, I think that people, I've never, I've never been sturgeon spearing. But I think people do it like poor man's lobster a lot. That's how they fix it. And it's supposed to be delicious. Um, I've never had any. So, but if somebody got some, I would eat it. I'll try anything. I've eaten a lot of crazy things. And being a hunter, I'm always up for some type of meat. <laughs> okay. Um, so Karen said she couldn't get a reservation, so they went to Hooters. Who does that on Valentine's Day? That's really funny. <laughs> so I have to tell you about Haley and Jared. Haley was sick all last week. She's got a cold or something. So um, they didn't go out for Valentine's Day, but she was feeling better on Saturday. So they decided to go to Red Lobster. That's one of her favorite places. They got to Red Lobster, and the waiting line was an hour long. And Haley's like, oh, Mom, you don't know how bad. She's like, I'm kind of coughing a little bit. And this is really mean, but I'm going to tell you because it's kind of funny. So don't hate me. She says, she says, I kind of felt like I could cough really hard and then say, oh, my gosh, Jared, my cough seems so much worse since we got back from China. And then maybe it would clear the place out and they could eat dinner. But she didn't do that. It was just a thought. So it is kind of mean, but it's Kind of funny too, right? <laughs> then they went to Mims, which is in Menasha, and it's just a little like little tiny burger diner place and had to wait an hour or two for that. So lots of people out to eat on Saturday night, right? Okay. I want to get to our winners. Let's see, did I get through all my deals? I think I did. Thanks for tuning in tonight. I really appreciate that you're here. Um I have, so make sure that if you're just coming in for the first time, or maybe you don't know this, if you have never watched my Facebook Live, you want to make sure you leave a comment here and on YouTube, because people who aren't on Facebook will watch later on YouTube. Okay, you guys, thank you for thinking it's funny, because it's kind of mean, but um, it's all in good humor, right? <laughs> I know. <laughs> The China thing, like, oh, I don't, I've been coughing so much worse since I got back from China. It's not funny. The coronavirus is very serious, and Steve and I specifically did not drink any Corona beer while we were on our trip, so we wouldn't get it. And that's another one that maybe was too far. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. I really feel bad for the people, and it's horrible, but, uh, you know, laughter's good for the soul. <laughs> okay, leave a comment. Because when you leave a comment, you get entered in drawings. And I do three drawings every week. The first one is for comments. And the winner from last week is Mary Olson. You are the winner of some beautiful red rhinestone basic jewels. So you watch for those in your mail. 
And next for um, sharing my video, I have some poppy, peaceful poppy elements. These are part of the online class that I just released. I'm still taking reservations for that too. So until I kind of cut it off, you'll still get the pre-cut cardstock pack because I haven't made my report yet. So if you want to get on that, head over to my blog, www.astampabove.com. And in the right-hand column, you're going to find online classes. Go click on that. You can order. This is the poppy, peaceful poppy elements that we use in that online class. And my winner from last week for sharing my video, Ruth Miller. Woohoo, Ruth! You are the big winner. So I'll be dropping those in the mail. Oh, there's no mail tomorrow, but there's mail on Tuesday. Okay, thank you guys for thinking that's funny because, you know, I don't... I never want to offend anybody and always know that that's never my intent to offend anybody, but we do have to kind of make light of things to keep our sanity, right? Yeah, we can't be serious all the time. Next, when you place an order, I usually give away a stamp set every week and this week I have the Little Ladybug stamp set. I know my screen is, I should mirror, oh, do I need to? No, yeah, maybe I do. I'll mirror my screen so everything doesn't look backwards. Da, da, da. There we go, and there we go. Boom, just like magic. Little ladybug stamp set. Um, I did a drawing for everybody who placed an order with me last week, and Mary Swanson of Stevens Point or Texas, depends on the season, you are the winner of this little ladybug stamp set. And don't forget, there are dies to go with this cutie patootie right here in our coordination product release. So we have matching dies for the little ladybug set. If you don't have them yet, um, I'm hoping you don't have the stamp set, okay? But you will want to get the dies. Just saying. All right, those are our winners from last week. And I'm going to put those over here. I have a bunch of other stuff I need to mail out. And then. For my team members that are on watching tonight, I did not do the drawing for the door prizes for the people who watched virtually yet. So just know that I'm um, hoping that I will have time to do that tonight, if not tomorrow morning. For my team members that can't attend because of distance, or maybe they just have something else going on, or maybe they're just not feeling that great, they can watch the meeting live. And when they watch the meeting live, they get entered in the door prizes, in the door prize drawings to win also. So that's kind of cool. That doesn't exclude people, right? I hate to exclude people. Susan, thank you. Um, next, we have March 3rd. The Celebration second release is coming out. This will be live to the public. Now, if you're a demonstrator, you can order the items in here right now and pay for them. That's one of the perks. If you are not a demonstrator or discount shopper, doesn't matter, it's the same thing. Um, you will be able to get the items in this brochure on March 3rd with your $50 or $100 order. And I showed you guys this amazing flowering foil specialty paper last week. Here it is. It is incredibly gorgeous. I can't even wait to start playing with this. Free with your $50 order. And they have a bunch of really pretty ideas using it, okay? And next we have the Rise and Shine. This stamp set has 15 different stamps in it. This goes along with our goes alongs. There you go. There's some good in English. This goes along with our Cup of Cheer dies from the Holiday Mini Catalog. And you can get this free with your $100 order starting March 3rd. Then we have the Well-Dressed stamp set. Oh, I just put it away. I was just going to grab it. This is great. Whoops. For the men in your life free with a $50 order, and then this gorgeous embossed vellum, you guys, is to die for. Oh, I love it, love it, love it. Also free with the $100 order, and they've got some ideas up there for both of these. Let me see if I can get it in the screen. It's a little tricky. <laughs> and then we have the Tags in Bloom stamp set. And again, this is a really big stamp set. There are, I think, 18, 19 different stamps in it. And it coordinates with the Label Me Fancy Punch and the Label Me Lovely Punches in the Spring Mini Catalog. So we're going to have some new items that we're going to be able to play with um, shortly. Now, I have a home party next Saturday with Shelby White. I'm headed over to... Uh, the center of the state, Wisconsin, to do a home party with Shelby. And I'm thinking that we'll use some of these things. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. 
I also have all my team swaps from today and our theme was designer series paper and can I just say my team you guys really went over and above the swaps have been absolutely fantastic for a long time but we've got 16 people swapping with us now which is huge and I'm super excited I will show you guys these also as well at the end of um, our Facebook Live. So make sure you stick around or if you can't, I get it. If you need to go to bed, I know some places it's later. Some places you might be eating dinner um, or you can always come back later and watch, okay? So let me put this away so I don't crinkle it. I think we're ready to turn the camera around. Did I miss any questions? Hi, Jody. Welcome. And I see Kim is here. And Patty, welcome Ginger. Is this, it must be Ginger's first time. I must have missed her comment. The letter sign over your shoulder says, oh, <laughs> right here. Da, 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 da. How about that? Better? Yeah. <laughs> we don't want any confusion there, right? Thank you. Um, Marilyn's OCD is kicking in. I, I missed the rest of what you said. Okay. I think we're ready to flip the camera. Let me get rid of this basket. And I am going to pull out the paper so I can show this to you. I'll get rid of that too. Okay, so if you get motion sickness, please close your eyes. I'm gonna flip the camera down so you can see my table. And um, actually, I had a question from Karen Fodder this afternoon. I'm gonna do a little demonstration for all of you and her. And then we're going to get to making some really pretty cards. Okay, hang tight. Close your eyes. Do you guys want to see my other side of my room? Look at, look at, white space. White space on my desk. Yeah, okay, that's enough. <laughs> I'm not going to show you all my secrets. No, I don't have any secrets. But the rest of it's still not really cleaned up that good. So I'll we'll just leave it at that. How about that? Okay, you guys, I've got everything flipped around and I'm gonna unmirror my screen. There we go. Okay, so first of all, Karen Fodder asked me, she said she was having a lot of trouble with my glue sponging technique and she was still getting glue coming out on the front, oozing out, I would assume, on the front of her um, butterflies that she was doing. So I just happened to have one of the poppy elements from the poppy suite die cut sitting on the corner of my desk and I'm like, hey, I can show her exactly what's happening. Now, this is what I am thinking is happening to you, Karen. When you put your glue on your plate or your silicone mat or wherever you put it, I just like to scribble a little bit on there. I have a sponge and a little clippy deal. When you do this, you don't want that much glue to be going on the back of your butterfly or flower or whatever, okay? Tap it around to, to like spread that glue out and dissipate it so that it's not a lot of glue. And you can see that's a very little bit of glue. Then you're going to do this. There is absolutely no way that when you put glue on like that, you're going to have glue oozing out on the front. And so what I think is happening is you're leaving too much glue on your layer. And that's why you're getting it to ooze out on the front of your butterflies. But isn't that pretty? This is what I like to do when I am using intricate dies. Because like it's really hard to put glue on the back of this little outside edge. I could put it in the middle and that would be fine. But I wanted to show this to Karen. Now, I will wash this sponge. You, If you leave it just dry, it gets sticky. So when you're doing this, it sticks to your paper and it's flopping around. And I'll also wash off the silicone mat. And I'm not really sure what I'll do with this, but I'll figure something out. And I'm going to put it right back over where I found it earlier today when I cleaned. Yeah, I know, right? I'm pretty proud of that. Okay, so... I am using the Pleased as Punch Designer Series Paper. And this is part of our coordination product release. Let me get you guys up on my screen. Hang on just a second because I did not do that. And I am going to bring this up so I can see your questions or comments or whatever. Oh, and I have my phone plugged in and I did remember to put it on do not disturb. Earlier today at our team meeting, my daughter tried to call me twice while I was in the middle of a Facebook live. Yeah. And of course she had no idea. So, um, I don't think I'm missing anything. Hi, Janet Schmidt. Janet is my aunt. I'm happy to see you here. 
Okay, so this paper, hang on, I got all kinds of stuff going on here. The Pleased as Punch paper is part of our coordination product release that just came out February 4th. This paper, you guys, just makes me happy. I love it. Let me put these away. Hang on. I hate to leave things laying around that I will lose them. So we've got this gorgeous side and this gorgeous side. And then we've got like this pretty pastel -y rainbow and then these adorable flowers. This, oh, by the way, okay, so this matches the Tulip Builder Punch and the Tulip Stamp Set. This matches the um, Small Blooms Punch. You can get that punch free during celebration and also the um, Bloom Stamp Set that is free during celebration. This matches our heart punches okay so we've got a punch pack there's a scalloped one and a plain one this paper matches that and is that it nope we've got our umbrellas yet okay look at the rain this is so pretty and then all of these beautiful umbrellas and they match our umbrella punch builder punch and stamp set so I'm going to be using um, the only one I'm not doing tonight is the heart so let's put it that way so I'm going to be showing you how fun and easy this card or designer series paper is to make cards with and if you are part of my team you got to see this today this was one of our make and takes which was really fun so I'm going to come in with um, the rainbow paper and this is cut four by five and a quarter it's got the pretty little flowers on the back and the rainbows on the front I've also got a piece of our thick whisper white cardstock for my base and this is four and a quarter by 11 and I've already scored it here at five and a half. Let me get that edge burnished good. And then I'm going to simply add this layer right to the front. And make sure by the time you get done watching all these cards that I'm making, just get two packs at least of this Please Does Punch paper because you will not be disappointed it is so pretty and I like sat down last night I was this was what I was doing in the wee hours last night and I made or designed these cards and I had such an easy time because this paper is so pretty it just does all the work for you well kind of and I'll show you what I mean in just a second then we are going to take a piece of whisper white this is four by four and a half and where did my thing just go? I just saw it. Here it is. Um, this is the Sending Flowers Dies that is featured in our coordination product release right here. Sending Flowers Dies. And you get... Where's my other label? Hang on, it's here somewhere. Here it is. You get a scallop label that die cuts this for the sentiments that go with the, this is meant to go along kind of with the sending you thoughts. This is free during celebration with your $50 order and then you can purchase this die set. So I ran the label through my Big Shot with this die. You also get this one, some flowers that will decorate the flowers on the back of here. So you get two sets of flower dies so that you can just die cut and a bunch of colors and do some really cute things. I was really surprised at how easy this came off of my die. Like, that's it. Look at that. Isn't that so, so pretty? And I see I've got one little flower center here everything else oh here's one little piece right there that's it we're ready to roll now you can take this and you're going to have a few bits and pieces left in here and I am going to whoops that's an empty box I am going to grab my um, dye brush and just get those out of there so that this is ready to roll when I am ready to do my next card with it. Yep. Oop, one more little piece. Boom. So, oh, hang on. Got a couple sticking in there. What's going on? Oh, I see. 
There we go. Okay, so isn't this pretty? And then all these these little flowers, they all match up with these. So you can do them in different colors and just put um, flowers all over this piece right here. And I haven't done that yet. So um, there's going to be more coming with this whole suite because it's pretty cute. Okay, now that was die cut on this. Now you have to remember this is the four and a half inch way by four. So make sure that your flowers are like this. And then we are going to just take this and add it to our rainbow paper here. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue around here. This would be a good place to use the um, sponge again. So let's do that. Karen, great idea. I'm glad Karen asked the question. I'm going to put some glue down here. And... Now you want to keep your, um, whoops, I just stuck my finger in the glue. You want to keep your, your paper kind of out of this glue right here. So I'm just going to do this. Add some glue to those flowers. Bring it over here. Add some glue. And then we're going to stick this right on the front of our card. And you've got just a teeny weeny weeny little border, if anything. And I see this one's cut just a little bit bigger than my sample. So I left a little bit of the designer paper at the top, but otherwise I've just pushed it right down on there. And what do you guys think of this? Isn't it just stunning? I think it's beautiful. I love it. Okay, then I'm going to bring in the sentiment layer and make sure I want to use the right side. I've got the sending a little something and I thought okay so do I have to include a little something in a card when I say sending a little something and I thought no I'm sending a card and on the inside of it I'm sending love and that's a little something right so you don't have to put something inside the card you could if you wanted to but I'm not going to okay I gotta stick my head in here hang on I gotta make sure that I'm getting this on here straight and that's crooked. Let's try it again. I'm going to give it one more shot. And that's really crooked. So we're going to go with a little less crooked one. <laughs> Don't worry. Okay. And then I decided we're going to use mini dimensionals on here. Oh, and by the way, I am using Mint Macaron is my ink color for this. So I've got... Oh, you know what? I want big dimensionals, and I'll tell you why in a second. Hang on. Let me get these off of here. See, I just made this today, and I already forgot what I'm doing. Squirrel. Okay. There we go. Meh. Okay. <laughs> All right. Big dimensionals. Use the big dimensionals, and I'll tell you why in a second. The little ones will work fine, but we're going to put some baker's twine on the front of this card. And hang on a second. I'm having a little hot flash. Woo! Might need to turn my fan on. Okay, here comes our card. And I am going to bring in, look at how much I've used of this already. So this is the Metallic Baker's Twine and Sequin Combo Pack. And these colors in here are perfect to go along with this paper. So we've got um, Daffodil Delight and Bermuda Bay Metallic um, Baker's Twine. And I'm just going to wrap this around my card three times. So we've got one, two. These are the little things that make your cards special is by doing little things like this. Hang on, I lost my twine here. Okay. All right, I might have to strip here in a second. <laughs> if Michael's still watching, don't watch. No, I'm not gonna show you. Um, yeah, did you guys happen to catch the little thing where when we were on our trip, I forgot my swimsuit top, so like I'm laying on the beach in my bra. That was just a dandy day. Yeah, maybe too much information, but, you know, just keeping it real. It happens, and I wasn't going to wreck my beach day, so. And the one day I didn't have on like a black bra, nobody would have noticed. Nobody would have noticed, but I had on a nude bra, and it did look like a bra, so there was no mistaking it, but um, just keeping it real. <laughs> Okay, I tied a bow here. I like to tie a knot first as I'm yakking. I forgot to tell you that. I like to tie a knot first when I'm using Baker's Twine because then it keeps everything in place. And here we go. 
cute, right? I'm going to push this up just a little bit. And then we're going to bring in our sentiment. And you are going to have to hang tight while I start stripping. <laughs> now, I could have not told you that, but I figured you'd be more amused by it if you knew. Whew, there we go. Okay, here comes our little sentiment. And I'm just going to straddle that baker's twine, okay? And that's why I need big dimensionals because I want these dimensionals to hit the cardstock so they're not just on the baker's twine and then they'll f that greeting will flop around, right? What do you guys think so far? Isn't it cute? Okay, then we are going to bring in... Yeah, and Kim just said she would love Stampin' Up! to do a DSP of colored stripes for the whole set. Yeah, I agree with you, because that would be beautiful, right? Then I'm going to put on a few sequins, and of course you can put on as many sequins as you want, but I'm just going to put on three here, because I think these go really, really well with this designer series paper. I just think there's, it's so pretty. Right down here, and then maybe a baby yellow one, and I I think I have one there. I like to use my take, take your pick tool with the putty end and just add little dots of glue. Whoops, now I got glue on my finger, but let's see if we can get this here. It's not sticking, hang on. Maybe I didn't put enough glue on there. There it is, okay. All right, there is just a super simple card, right? But that die and that designer series paper just does all the work for us. Yeah, and next, I'm going to do a little bit on the inside. So I had a bunch of strips from cutting all the pieces of cardstock here, and I thought, well, this would look really cute on the inside. But since my inside is white, it would be kind of plain. So this is a one inch by four and a quarter. I just cut a piece of blushing bride that is one, no, one inch by four and a quarter. And this is one and a quarter by four and a quarter. And I thought I can just layer that on there. And that's going to look so cute on the inside of my card and leave lots of room for me to write my little something that I'm sending, which is going to be something filled with love. Yeah. All right, there we go. This is going to be the inside of my card. I'm going to leave just a little bit of white border on the bottom because I just like that look. There we go. And trim off this edge because I'm kind of anal about that. And there we go. Here's our cute card, right? I know. Easy. Easy peasy. Okay. Let me get this set aside. Oh, I'll leave the card out here. And I will get this cleaned up and we'll move on to the next really pretty card because I'm excited about that too. And let me put these dies away. Again, this die is called Sending Flowers Dies and it's meant to coordinate with the Sending New Thoughts. This is free with a $50 order as well as the Metallic Baker's Twine Combo Pack. You get two rolls of this and the sequins. Where did my bin go? Anybody see it? No? I found it. I'll get my basket in here. And we'll get everything put away so we can... Oh, I forgot to put this in there. Don't lose your dies. Gosh, I hate it. Earlier today, I dropped a um, pokey tool on the floor. And I didn't pay attention to where it went. And I find myself doing that a lot. Where, like, it fell on the floor. I'll get it in a minute, you know? Guess what? Can't find it. Still haven't found it. It's down here someplace. And there's nothing on my floor. Like, my floor's pretty clean. <laughs> Not always clean, but pretty clean. Okay, next. Set this to the side. I am bringing in the Under My Umbrella and the Umbrella Builder Punch. This thing is so fun. Today was actually the first day that, or I should say last night, I whipped it out. This is another 
card from our team meeting today. So this was one of our make and takes. And I brought in some rhinestones. And then we're going to do a little something extra on the inside. I didn't do this for the team meeting because I had a lot of people coming and I knew that it would be too a little bit too time consuming for what we need at our team meeting. But you could certainly add this, you guys, that were there today. Okay. Here comes Highland Heather. This is five and a half by eight and a half. And I'm just going to fold it and burnish that edge good. Somebody just said, hang on. I think somebody just asked a question. Are we supposed to be clapping or do you not need encouragement? We're still giggling right now. <laughs> Marsha, I would really appreciate an applause. I, you know, I'm just saying, no, I'm just kidding. Um, click on that heart, click on that thumbs up. When you do that, click, 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 click. It sends love up the screen and I do love that. <laughs> That's a great question. Thank you very much, Marjean. Very, Marjean says very cute card. Thank you so much. I had a lot of fun making it. Like I said, it was really easy to design these. So here is my Highland Heather card base. And now I've got a piece of the, um, what is this called again? Um, please this punch. Oh, please this punch paper. I'm going to use the umbrella side. So this is four by five and a quarter. And I'm just going to put this right on the front. This is another quick and easy card where I'm making my designer paper do all the work for me. And my screen isn't scrolling like it should. So if I miss any of your questions, you guys, please just ask them again until I can, I see it. Because it's hard for me to do this, look at my computer screen, see the comments, and then when it doesn't scroll, then it's even worse. All right, scrap of Whisper White, scrap of Highland Heather. First thing we're going to do is we're going to take the gorgeous grape ink and I am going to stamp an umbrella. Just like that. And then I've got some Highland Heather ink on this scrap of Whisper White. Oh, and you'll need a little bit bigger scrap of this too. But on the scrap of Whisper White, I would die cut one of our stitch shape circles, okay? And I've already done that. And then on a bigger scrap of Highland Heather, you're gonna die cut a scallop circle from our layering circles dies. And I've already done that here. So I'm going to bring in the sentiment that says, rain or shine, you're always on my mind. And I just thought that was a really cute greeting. I have a lot of people I could send that to for any reason whatsoever. So I'm inking that up in Highland Heather ink. <clears throat> this was gorgeous grape ink. This is Highland Heather. And then we're going to add that to the scalloped layer. And it's just got a little tiny scallop peeking out from behind. Isn't that pretty? Okay, um, then I've got some silver here. This is our silver foil paper. I'm going to bring that in and punch out an umbrella. What do they call this? The umbrella handle. I don't know what they call it. There's probably some fancy name for it that I'm not aware of, but this will work. And then we're going to bring this in and punch out the umbrella part. Now, of course, you guys know that these punches match the designer series paper. I kind of, yeah, forgot to say that when I was doing this layer matches that small blooms punch. These flowers, you can punch those out. This punch matches the umbrellas here. So you can punch these out of the designer series paper if you want. So here's our umbrella. Here's our umbrella handle or whatever you call it. And I'm just going to add that to the back. You could use a mini glue dot. I like to use my crummy Amish tape. <laughs> and I have nothing against the Amish. I love them, but I will never buy tape from there again. And if you follow me, you know the whole story. Because I've said it like multiple times. And I, are, are some of you going, oh my lord, is she ever going to quit about the Amish tape? <laughs> Not until it's gone, people. <laughs> Not until it's gone. Okay. Here comes some dimensionals on the back of this layer. I'm gonna bring my little card front back in here. This is, again, a really super easy card. 
If you don't have these dies, I highly recommend them, but you certainly would be able to use circle dot or circle punches instead of dies if you don't have the dies for these. Here comes our umbrella. And I'm just gonna bring that right down in here. Isn't it cute? And then I have the dog builder punch and there's a little heart on there. And I thought I needed just a little, little something here. So I took a Highland Heather heart. I put a dab of glue right there. I'm gonna add my heart right below my sentiment. And doesn't that just add a lot? I love that. And then I have some rhinestones. We're gonna add just a teeny weeny weeny little bit of bling. Where'd my take your pick tool go? Gosh, I had two of them here a second ago and now I have only one. Okay, this isn't the right one. Hang on, I lost something. Here's one. I think I have three out today and I can't even find the one I need. A little, little tiny rhinestone right there. Isn't that pretty? What do you guys think? Yeah, thank you for the love. I see all the love coming up the screen. Thank you so much. And if you guys are watching later on YouTube, you can give me a thumbs up, hit that bell notification, and click on subscribe to subscribe to my channel. You don't want to miss anything I have coming out. All right, then um, for the inside of this card, I also, oh, here, I've got a Whisper White layer. So let's see, what am I going to do here? I brought in my Memento ink, and we've got these cute little rain boots, and I thought this would be kind of fun if we colored these with our Highland, oh, this is Purple Posy. Oh, Dark Purple Posy, Light Purple Posy. Don't we have a Highland Heather? Oh, I see something here. Hang on. Yep, here's Highland Heather. I don't know where my other color is, though. Let's see if this is it. Imagine they're not next to each other in my storage thing over here. I know most of you will find that completely shocking. Okay. I'm just going to bring in my darker one here and color these little rain boots. And I just thought this would be a cute little thing to do on the inside. Another really fun thing to do would be to add this image, stamped image, to some of the designer series paper and cut these boots out. That would be really cute too. So now I'm going to come in with the lighter of the, is this the right color? Yep, Highland Heather. Like I've got too many markers out here now. I'm going to bring this in and color over that shading line that I put on the sides of my boots. Oh, that looks pretty good, right? And if you want to, you can then come back in with the color lifter and just lift a little bit of color out of the middle here. <gasps> Look at how artsy fartsy I'm being. <laughs> yeah, okay. And then this is gonna go on the inside of our pretty little card. Make sure I got it right side up here. Aw, that is so cute. And another general card, I can use this for anybody. So there we go. What do you what do you guys are you are you grooving on this? Yeah, I think it's gonna be super easy. I think this whole bundle of products is a really easy one to create with. You've got this umbrella, you've got this little like umbrella that's not quite opened all the way. You put that upside down and you can have the flowers coming out of it. We've got lots of flower images in here. Hello sunshine, no matter the weather, we're friends forever. Showered with love, it's your day, rain or shine, you're always on my mind and life's showers bring loves of flowers and some raindrops. Super, super cute. You can get this with the Spring Mini Catalog. And um, if you buy the stamp set and the punch together, you save 10%. So, and it goes along with this. Bonus! Yeah. Thank you guys so much. Appreciate it. Let's get these out of the way. Now, which one was my Highland Heather? This is my Highland Heather. And this is my Highland Heather. This one's my Purple Posies. So I'll put those away and keep these so I know what to put in my ingredient list, right? And now we've got this card and this card. And oh, by the way, 
If you do not have a Stampin' Up! Den demonstrator, I would be happy to earn your business. Um, if you need the current catalogs, I'd be happy to mail those to you also. You can head right over to my blog and you'll find an online ordering button. This is my monthly host code right now. That changes periodically. You'll always find it in the right hand column or under every single blog post. I list this so you can just scroll down and then copy and paste it. You want to use that if your order is under $150. If your order is over $150, don't use that code. You're going to get some benefits from Stampin' Up! I want you to have those. So keep that in mind. But I'd also be happy to mail you some catalogs. How do you get catalogs? Pop me an email. That is the best way to actually get my attention. My email address is kelly, K-E-L-L-Y, at astampabove.com. So this is my website address, but if you put kelly at astampabove.com, you will get my email address. Okay, next. Can you tell I had a lot of fun? I'm like super energized after working with this paper because it was just so fun. And I have a bunch of other cards to share with you. Not a bunch, but a couple other cards. Um, I'm going to be using this Timeless Tulips and the Tulip Builder Punch for this card. And on all my pieces. I've also got the Scripty Embossing Folder. And some of our, oh, this is Whisper White Baker's Twine. These are our um, adhesive sequin. Hang on, let me get this out. I think we're going to use the green ones here. I've got this in a different package. These are our basic adhesive backed sequins. And they come in a very subtle bunch of colors here. So I'll just set those aside. Let me set these cards over here. Oops, I just almost messed up my bow. Let me fix that because I'll probably forget about it and take pictures and then have to retake them. Ugh, hate it when that happens. Okay, we are using a card base of Blushing Bride. And this is five and a half by eight and a half. Nothing fancy going on there. Just a regular half a sheet of cardstock. Where did my, um, oh, here it is. I'm like, where did my piercing mat go? And then I've got a piece of the tulip paper. Is it, This is so pretty, too. It's got some very subtle lines on the back. It's kind of got a worn look to it. And the tulips. So I'm going to take this tulip layer, which is four by five and a quarter, and I'm going to just add this right to my Blushing Bride card front. Now, of course, that's one of the coordinating colors in this Designer Series paper. Again, this is the Please Does Punch. I'm still using the same Designer Series paper. Then I've got an inside layer. I've got a three-quarter inch piece to put on the inside of the Designer paper. A Whisper White um, scrap. Let's do this right away. I'm going to add the green side to my inside layer right here because I just thought that would be pretty. It pulls that green in from the front. We're going to trim this off just a little bit. All right. I know last Sunday that most of you guys, I think it was Sunday, were watching me, but did you guys watch it? Was it the Grammys they had on? Did you see that um, Joaquin... What, what's his last name? That guy that was being a nutcase on there? I was really quite shocked. I did a little funny thing on that. His big platform was that we milk dairy cows. <laughs> I don't know. I just couldn't get on board with that. Sorry. Okay. I have taken the stitched shape rectangle framelits. I've got this one and this one. And I should have a white piece here someplace, but I'll be darned if it's escaped me. So... I guess I'll be making a new one. I don't know what happened to it. Okay. Um, I'm going to take some Blushing Bride ink. And I'm going to make a Get Well card. I seem to need a lot of those this time of year. So, oh, that's a big white piece, isn't it? Oh, yeah, because we're going to stamp some tulips, too. So I'm going to stamp my Get Well soon. And then I've got a little bit of artist tape on here to hold my die in place. 
make sure I get this kind of centered here. There we go. And then before I do this, I'll bring my big shot in so I can do it right here in front of you. I don't do that often, but I will. Now I'm going to take Pear Pizzazz ink. What are you guys drinking tonight? I've got a blue bottle now because this is Steve's. I lost my black bottle on our trip. I think I left it in Chicago at the airport. I've got strawberry lemonade from my um, Optavia program. Love it. And Bev, if you're still on here, she's probably going to ask me if I'm drinking water. No, I'm not drinking any water. I hate water. And it just sucks the life out. It sucks the joy out of my life. And But there's a lot of water in that strawberry lemonade. <laughs> That's what I always think, like, isn't that water, you guys? Like, it's water. Okay, pear pizzazz, and I'm just coming in here and adding some stems. So there's two different stems in this set. You've got a pretty straight one right here, and you've got a curvy one. And I'm using both of them. And then there's several leaves in here. And I am going to, oops, come in here and just add some greenery. And again, I'm using Pear Pizzazz ink. There we go. I like that better than the original one that I made. So yay me. Um, <laughs> next, what we're going to do, let me grab my big shot. It's right over here on my cleared off table, I might add. Yeah, I'm pretty proud of that. Oh, you know what? I don't know. Oh, yeah, I've got, I was going to say, I don't know if I have the right platform in here. Okay. I do have. So I'm going to remove my top platform here and I'm going to take, oh my lord, what did I do with my stamped image layer? Did you guys see where it went? Hold the phone, everybody. Okay, crisis. Here it is. Look at it. It's stuck right there. Ah. Okay, I've got that scripty embossing folder, and this is one with the blue star on it, and that means that I need to use the blue platform with it. So, I'm going to grab that blue platform, and I like to put my um, layers in here up against this line, in especially one that needs to be straight. Like, this is definite words and lines, so I want this to be straight on here. I've taken off the top thin die adapter, and now we're going to run this through our Big Shot. So we've stamped on the layer, we've die cut it in the rectangle stitch die, and now we've embossed it. What do you think? Isn't that pretty? It's like a lot going on, but it's very subtle. Okay, we're going to put this back, the thin die adapter, back in here. We're going to bring in our clear plates, which I, over there. And now we're going to die cut the label. Oh, here it is. Oh, I know. I wanted to show you guys this stuff. So one of my team members turned me on to this. This is Low Tack Artist Tape by Scotch 3M. And that's what I've got taped onto my die right here. And it is really nice. Like I've never had it tear my cardstock. So, um, and I got it from Amazon. And I really like it. So there's your little outside tip of the day. Oh, so um, Radalyn is asking, what does the blue platform do? Well, here's the deal. When Stampin' Up! Um, had to change manufacturers, we're no longer going through Sizzix for our dies, um, our dies and our embossing folders. Sizzix made, I think this is how it went, Sizzix made Stampin' Up! We have to change. We can't use the exact same design that we used with the Sizzix product because that's a, like a copyright infringement or I don't know, something like that. So we had to make our embossing folders, I don't know, it's either thicker or thinner. I think they're thinner, these 3D folders. So they have to be thinner so they're not the exact same ones that we had with Sizzix. And so now we need this plate on the top. It's thicker than our clear plates. Yeah, it's just, it's a company thing that we were forced into, kind of ridiculous, but it is what it is. 
nothing we can do about it, so we need to just roll with that flow. <laughs> that was a great question, by the way. Okay, now we're going to bring in some dimensionals because I want this card to have lots of dimension. And I am going to... I want it to, you also want this to be supported well. So I've got six dimensionals on here, and let's be real, you get a lot in a pack, so just use them, right? You can always order more. That one didn't come off. And that one didn't come off. There we go, okay. Wow, all right. Make sure you put your stems on here right side up, right? Oh, post-it tapes works really good, Karen um, said too. And yeah, I've never had that. I'm sure it probably does. So that's another good, good one. Okay, so I'm putting this slightly up from the center. You can see there's a larger margin down here than there is up here. But I'm just going to get that right in there. Now I'm going to put some mini dimensionals on my sentiment layer. Whoops, don't put them way out at the edge because the sentiment is a little bit wider than this blushing bride layer. And here we go. This is going to go right in here. And that's just kind of a neat look, all that layering going on. Okay, now for the beautiful tulips. I've got my Blushing Bride ink here. I'm going to stamp three tulips. And now I'm getting cold. Can you believe that? Yeah. My internal temperature thermometer dealy whopper is certainly bonkers. And here comes our tulips. Now, you want to make sure you start on the left-hand side because when you start it over here, we're going to probably punch into that next tulip. So start on the left. And now I'm going to... Line this up and punch it. You can also stamp some leaves and punch those with this builder punch. And then there's some other little things you can make with this punch that are really um, quite charming. And you see I stamped too close to the bottom down here. We're going to do that last one again because we can. And I will not be happy with that at all. Look at all the definition in that image. Isn't it pretty? I was just really shocked when I stamped these, how realistic they look. And yeah, this one's going to make me a lot happier. Okay, and again with the dimensionals, let's go crazy with dimensionals. The middle flower, I'm going to do a dimensional there and one there. And we'll stick that on right away. Here comes our middle flower, and I want that to kind of go off the top of my layer a little bit. Now, the side flower we're going to put in over here. So I don't want any dimensionals way over there. I'm going to keep them on this side of my flower. Otherwise, they will be going off the layer. Does that make sense? I'm always kind of just a little weird about that. So this is where I put my dimensionals on the back of this flower, and now they're going to land on this layer. So I'm going to kind of tuck this one under the tulip up here, maybe, if I can get it surrounded the way I want it. There we go. Okay, so now it's just sticking to this layer, not to my card front. And then this one, I need to do kind of just the opposite. So I'm going to put one in the middle down here, and then one on this side over here. To give it good support. And I'm just going to tuck that under just a little bit. And maybe I'll bring it way down a little bit more than the rest of Well, I don't know if I like that. That looks good. Okay. What do you guys think? One more thing. We've got these basic self-adhesive sequins. And I am going to take some of the really pale green ones. I'll put one here. I want just a teeny weeny weeny bit of bling on our card. And if you have these items, why not? And if you don't, they're really inexpensive. Add them to your order because they give just that little bit of shimmer that blings it up a touch. And here is our tulip card. Ah! Yeah. Okay, I told you I had a couple other cards that I wanted to share with you. 
So you guys know that I do a lot of swapping. And so this is another beautiful card made with the Timeless Tulips stamp set and the Tulip Builder Punch. Isn't that pretty? Granny Apple Green. I think this is Flirty Flamingo. And that looks like lovely lipstick with some um, Calypso Coral or Grapefruit Grove Ribbon. Grapefruit Grove, I think that's what that is. Isn't that pretty? Ah, uh, Chris says you hit it out of the ballpark tonight. Love them all. Thank you so much, Chris. I was just shocked at how easy these cards were to make. Like, I kept going, wow, that came together really fast. You guys know I can spend like an entire day getting ready for a Facebook Live, but I made these pretty quick and easy last night. Well, I didn't make this one. This one's the one I made today, which is why I was late coming on. But um, this one I made last night, and... This one I made last, I designed last night. This one I did today. Okay, so there's one tulip card. Now, are you guys ready for this one? This is from my friend Ruth in California. Look at how pretty that is. And it's an easel card, which means it stands up like this. She used the basket weave in the background. This just really, um, basket weave and tulips makes me think of Easter, right? And there is a Happy Mother's Day and a Happy Easter, Happy Spring um, sentiment in here, as well as Happy Birthday. What a difference, what a beautiful difference one single life makes. May the memories of yesterday comfort you today. Hello, and the get well soon. So here is our easel card. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, Ruth, you killed it. So there's three cards using the tulip. And then, where did my cards go? Here they are. The other two cards with the umbrella and the um, flowers. All of these use the Pleased as Punch Designer Series paper that is part of our coordination product release. And again, yeah. I posted all the links to these. There's two flyers. This flyer shows the dies and a picture of the stamp set. Dies, picture of the stamp set. Okay, so that's this flyer. This is a two-page flyer right here. This flyer shows the name of the product in this promotion and also what it coordinates with, the name of the stamp set. So the Nature's Thoughts dies go with the Positive Thoughts stamp set. Special Days dies we used last week goes with someone's special stamp set. Ladybug dies, Little Ladybug stamp set. Sending Flower dies, Sending You Thought stamp set. Birthday dies, Happy Birthday to You stamp set. Pleased as Punch Paper goes along with the Small Bloom Punch, the Heart Punch Pack, the Tulip Builder Punch, and the Builder Umbrella Punch. So Designer Paper goes with four different, well actually five different punches because there's two heart punches. Yeah, pretty cool, right? Okay, I promised you guys that I would show you the swap cards from today. You're going to love them. Let me just move these out of the way so I can bring in those cards. I, I, was, I was stunned at the beauty of all these cards. And I don't want that to sound like I didn't expect the cards to be beautiful. I fully expected them to be beautiful because my team is just incredibly talented. I love them to death, and I love that we are having so many more that are not local participate in the swapping, because that's pretty cool. Oh, here, let me lay these out here so you're not just staring at nothing here while I'm cleaning up my mess. Okay, get all these put aside. There we go. Okay, where did those cards go? Right here. Okay, let me put my shirt back on because I'm being cold. <laughs> I told you I probably would. Here we go. Ooh, whoops, just smashed my light. Oh, there we go. Okay, here comes the cards from my team meeting today. Now, our um, theme was um, designer series paper. So everybody's card is kind of centered around designer series paper. Let me put these off to the side. So look at how cool that is. This uses the Golden Honey paper. I think it's kind of on back order right now, but this is free with your $50 order. I think it's coming in maybe March 9th. I'm not sure. This card was by Jay Shante. She's on here watching tonight. So yay. 
And then this card is by Kathy Miller. I think I saw her pop in on here tonight too. Yeah, this is the Stitch So Sweetly dies and matching stamp set with the Golf um, Suite. What is that called? I can't remember. The Golf Suite, the Argyle folder and the Golf Paper. And isn't that cool? Beautiful card. Look at this gorgeous card. This is from Nancy Ellison of Colorado. Look at the coloring on those flowers. Oh, this paper is free as well as the stamp set as well as the dies. It's all part of our celebration promotion. And it is, oh, I thought I had a, oh yeah, I do have a brochure here. It's part of the Lily Suite, which is right here. Here's the stamp set. This is our reversible stamp set, dies, and then the Lily Impressions Designer Series paper. So this whole card is made with that. And that oh, and it's got the Baker's Twine Metallic Combo and sequins on it. Another free item. So everything here except the cardstock and the coloring and the dimensionals is free. But yeah, this card, oh, look at the inside. Look what she did. Nancy, this is just a gorgeous card. Beautiful. Then we have Becky Felk. Look at Becky's card. I love the use of the strips of the designer series paper and this beautiful ribbon. And then she stamped some flowers on here with You're the Best. This is so, so pretty. And just a strip of designer series paper. This is our purple posy paper. And that just adds so much to that inside, doesn't it? Yeah. And then we have um, Kathy Beck, another one of my team members. All of these people are my team members. Incredibly talented. She used that um, white, I can't remember what this is called, but that white ribbon. And again, the stitch so sweetly. That's what Kathy used. The dies here are the same, as well as I believe the stamp set. And she used the Parisian, um, is it called Parisian Flourish Embossing Folder? and the matching paper from that whole suite. So very, very pretty, as well as the rhinestones. Yeah, gorgeous. Here's a fun one. This is Tammy Litsky. Look at these two ladies just laughing away. No one will ever be as entertained by us as us. We've been friends for so long, I can't remember which one of us is the bad influence. And I love this stamp set. It's a sentiment set. It's in the um, spring mini catalog, and then she used the tropical oasis paper and the braided twine that is beautiful. So very, very fun. Then we have Tuppy Schwartzel, and Tuppy, I absolutely love your use of this paper because it's Valentine paper, but yet this has nothing to do with Valentine's, just another sensational year of you, and this is a card that I can send to a lot of people in my life. So, and this uses the heart punch with the From the Heart Designer Series paper. And the, um, what's that called? I just had it on the tip of my tongue. The embossing folder from the Tropical Oasis. The Coastal Weave embossing folder. Here's another gorgeous card using the Umbrella Suite. And I think this paper is from that um, Designer Series paper that has the makeup in it with the shoes and all of that. And this is made by Patty Skiba. And look at how fun this is. Okay? Wow. She just punched this out of the designer series paper, so that's another thing to do with that umbrella punch. And this sets up like that. So when you set it up on your table, it'll set up just like that. And holy cow, is that not completely gorgeous? Yeah, and these are embellishments that we sell, those little flowers. What a great use of those. I have some of those. I don't know if I've ever used them. Yeah. Punched out of designer paper again. Then we have this gorgeous card. And again with the heart. It's a thank you card. It has nothing to do with Valentine's Day. This is that Lily Impressions designer series paper here and here. And also some pearls in the middle of the sequins from the combo pack that's free. So free paper, free sequin combo pack with the twine. This is by Cheryl. Beautiful job, Cheryl. This is absolutely gorgeous. I love this. I love that running right down the middle of this card, too. Then we have Handmade by Bonnie. Look at how pretty this is. Again, with the heart. Thank you card using the Honey Bee Designer Series paper. She punched out this bee out of the paper. I'm pretty sure. Yep. Um, yeah, very cool. Not punched. It's a die. That's what it is. 
Use the free twine. The paper is free with the $50 order. The twine and sequins are free with the $50 order. The honeybee um, is all in the spring mini catalog. So very, very pretty. And then we have Mary Thiel, another gorgeous, gorgeous card made with the Lily Impressions Designer Series paper. Um, Irene is asking, Kelly, if the B paper is unavailable, will it be coming back in? I believe there is some more ordered because it says that, um, I think there's an expected date, which means that they've ordered some more. So don't, um, I'm not going to swear by that, but I'm pretty sure that they are going to be getting some more. So that's a great question. Thank you for asking, Irene. So another beautiful, beautiful card. That's our polka dot tool. I love that. This paper is gorgeous. And the lily dies. Then we have Sarah Simon. Look at this. This is the Poppy Suite. This is the online class that I just released on Friday. How pretty. And it's funny that Sarah used this layout because as I was putting stuff away earlier today, I saw this layout. I'm like, oh, I should do that again. I love that layout. <laughs> this is beautiful. Way to go, Sarah. Very, very pretty. And then we have Lori Schwint. Lori drove up from the Milwaukee area today to come to our team meeting. And she used the Birthday Bonanza Designer Series paper along with the sweet and the stitched sweet lead scalloped dies. How pretty is this? Cute. Very, very cute. Love that. Got a little pom-pom on that bird hat there. Yeah. And then we have this. I love the crisp and clean look of this. This is some of our designer paper in the um, annual catalog with the small bloom punch cutting out that flower and our um, sequins. And I think these are the poppy, or, um, poppy sweet sequins, I think. They look like it. And this is by Sue Souza. She used the coastal weave, which kind of goes along with the designer paper, right? So that was really neat to put that together. Very pretty card. And then we have this beautiful card. This is by Norma. Um, Kalo I can't say your last name. Kakalis? I think, Norma, we know who you are. She used strips of designer series paper. So these are half inch strips and how very pretty is that? This is the die out of the poppy suite. What a very, very pretty card. Friends like you mean even more every year. Yeah. Great use of designer paper. And last but not least, you guys, this was demonstrated today by one of our team members, Lisa Nealand. And this is a belly band. It says, wishing you much happiness today and always. Lisa said that you can use this for a lot of different things. Of course, wedding, anniversary, somebody's leaving, getting a new job, um, birthday. Yeah, it can be used for anything. This is a belly band. And then we've got a trifold that uses that beautiful Parisian paper. I think that's what it's called. Look at how pretty that is. I love fun folds. So she knew this would be right up my alley. We had actually two fun folds today demonstrated at the team meeting. The other one was a twist card, a little different than what I've seen. And um, my team member Gina used it, and it was amazing. Or she demonstrated it. I couldn't believe how easy it was. So I'll probably be sharing that with you guys next week. She didn't um, use it as a swap. She just demonstrated it. So I don't have a sample to share with you. But these are all cards from my team, from our team swap today. And who wouldn't want to have every single one of these? They are amazing. Fabulous job, ladies. I'm so proud of you guys. And your creativity is just delicious. These are the cards that we made tonight. If you're coming in late, we use the Please as Punch Designer Series paper, part of our promotion. Now, that paper is only available while supplies last or till March 31st. So, Please as Punch Designer Series paper. And then, as long as we're on there, I wanted to talk to you about joining my team. If you are not a discount shopper or a demonstrator on somebody else's team, I would love to have you. During celebration, which lasts until the end of March, you get these items included with your $99 kit. 
You pay $99, you get free shipping, you get a paper pumpkin kit to go on top, that's another 20 bucks. You get to choose $125 worth of product for only $99 in tax. Free shipping, paper pumpkin kit. You also get this adorable little mini trimmer. It's a little guillotine trimmer. It's perfect to keep on your desktop to do smaller layers. You get the sampler pack of almost all of our designer series paper from the Celebration brochure and the new mini catalog. Plus you get to choose any stamp set of your choice out of our annual catalog or occasions mini catalog except exclusive host sets. Now, make sure you choose a really expensive one, right? Because it's the free one, that's the one you wanna get free. Okay, I wanna make that perfectly clear. So if you would like to join my team, you have any questions over on my blog at www.estampofmom.com, you're gonna find in the right hand column is a $99 kit button. Whether you want to be a discount shopper or build a business, you will be considered a demonstrator on my team. I will never push you to do anything more than you want to do. You will always get a 20% discount on your future orders that when you're using your discount and ordering. Um, there's a whole bunch of questions and answers on that right column tab under uh, $99 kit that'll probably answer every single question that you have. I have pretty much been pretty thorough so that you can get all the information you need to make an informed decision. And I have to tell you, being part of my team is a lot of fun, you guys. Like, this is so much fun. This is what we do. This is why we share. Being, some, some, being part of something so much bigger than just sitting in your room at home by yourself stamping is a lot of fun. I would love to have you on my team. And again, you can just use this for the discount. You can, or you can participate in everything that I offer. Or you can build a business out of it. You can build a big business. You can build a small business. Maybe you just want to build a business so you can pay for your granddaughter's dance lessons. Or your child's soccer season. Or a car payment. Or maybe you need a new job. I can tell you that I love my job. I love it. I have the best job in the whole world. I'm going to flip you guys around because I hate take it, talking to the back of my... I always feel like I'm talking to the back of your heads when I'm talking like this. It's like, oh, it's time to flip the camera. So, if you have any questions about being on my team, I'd love to have you. And again, a lot of people get confused about, well, I don't want to be a demonstrator and I don't want to do what you do. You don't have to. You can just take advantage of the discount. The majority of the people on my team are discount shoppers and I love them just as much as I love my business builders. So there you go. Does anybody have any questions that I missed tonight? I'm hoping that I caught them all. It's kind of impossible for me to see all the comments. And thank you so much for commenting because that enters you in a door price drawing, right? And oh, Peggy says she loved the tulip and the umbrella cards. I think you got those bundles, didn't you, Peggy, at Jan's um, Facebook party? I think you did. Our, oh, mail cards. Yes, thank you so much. I do have mail I have to show you. Um, who just said that? Somebody said looking forward to the mail cards. Thank you so much. I almost see. I told you guys to remind me. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to mirror my screen again so that things aren't backwards. All right, so this card came to me from Jody Peterson. She's, she's one of my team members. She was actually in Wisconsin this last week, and she came and helped me out with a little organizing, so that was awesome. So, isn't that pretty? Great Valentine card. And then I got this from Sharon Jones, and she said she made this with my daughter in mind. I thought it was so cute. Look at that, under construction. Isn't that sweet? With that honeybee set. Yeah, Sharon, thank you so much. I am going to give this to Haley because she's going to love this. I'm going to see her tomorrow night too. So I'm going to take this and put this back here and set it over by the door because then I have to walk over it and I won't forget to put it in my purse. <laughs> then um, Andy Aquisto sent me this adorable little Valentine. Look at how cute that is, right? And she stamped on there, thank you. And it says, thank you for being Thank you so very, little pun, very much, for the um, 
champagne rhinestones. I'm sure they will be used for fun projects. You are very welcome, Anne. I'm glad you liked them. Then I got a card from Mary Lynn Weller. She's out in Port Angeles, Washington. And check this out. Ready? Oh, yeah. Isn't that cool? I love fun folds. She knows this about me. And um, she just says, may your day be filled with lots of love and chocolate. Thank you. And it was. <laughs> and fish. And waffle fries. Yeah. But no surgeon. Okay, then I got this one from Jen Morgan. Jen Morgan is also from Washington. And look at how pretty that is. Yeah, gorgeous, right? And she said she received her prize from the January team meeting. Jen is part of my team. So she was sending me a thank you. You are very welcome, Jen. Then I got this one from Linda Smith. Hang on, I've got dimensional sticking to me. Look at how pretty this is. I love that gingham paper, and those butterflies are fantastic. And Linda is thanking me for such a fun and enjoyable, oh, for being fun and enjoyable. Linda, you're welcome. And she loves Sunday nights and my weekly tips. And she's planning on joining my team as a discount shopper soon. So way to go. Linda is part of my... Um, technique club my online technique club so thank you Linda that is so sweet of you then oh I'm gonna save this one because that one blew my mind um, I have a card here from Rose Bell Rose is also one of my team members look at this pretty Valentine card Rose thank you so much yeah this is so pretty and she says happy Valentine's Day and God bless thank you for your videos and the cool cards you do for us your friend Rose and she put a little bit of Wink of Stella in there. Isn't that pretty? You can see it right now. Yeah, very, very pretty. And I see somebody just said, Letha just said chocolate and fish, yuck. Okay, so I have to clarify because I would never eat chocolate with fish. I had fish for lunch and waffle fries. And then a little bit later, I ate some chocolate covered cherries. I am not going to lie. And they were delicious. <laughs> so it wasn't together, Letha. Don't worry. Okay, next. We have Karen Nevin from Colleen, Texas. Look at this pretty die. I like this die. Friends. And she's got in here, Happy Valentine's Day. Very sweet, Karen. Thank you so much. I love this card. Then we have, I think this is from Jeannie. Yep, this is from Jeannie Kalmus. Jeannie is one of my stamp clubs here in Menasha, and isn't that pretty? And then look at yeah, she used my little technique on the inside for that 3D look. Very, very cool, Jeannie. Thank you so much. And then I have, oh, this one was cute. And this is from my friend Sue Molden. And it says, be mine with one little bee in a jar. Isn't that cute? It's a little card. I love it. It says, happy Valentine's Day, Smolden. That's what she always writes, Sue Molden. <laughs> and then we have Sharon Jones sent me another card. Oh, she said, loving your tutorials. You make my life so much fun and give us so much laughter. Oh, you're so sweet, Sharon. Thank you so much. This is the first pocket card I've ever made. Blank so you can you reuse it. She always leaves her cards blank so I can reuse them, and I love that. But look at that. She's the Tropical Oasis. Isn't that nice? You did a really good job, Sharon. Thank you so much. Oh, I'm having another hot flash. Wow. Okay, then. So, I got this card from Arliss. Arliss is a longtime friend. She is my Aunt Janet's mom. She's from my hometown. She's also one of my team members. And Arliss sent me this Valentine card. And it says, Happy Valentine's Day. You two love birds. Hope you had a good vacation. See you soon. And I'm going to see Arliss when I do Shelby's home party next Saturday in central Wisconsin because that's Shelby's mom. So Arliss sent me this card, and I don't know. I just loved it. I love the hearts over here. You can see the back of it. It's, it's like at an angle. And I just thought, wow, that is so very cool. And then look at the inside. Oh, what a neat little fun fold, right? So I am probably, you guys noticed that I didn't use the, um, hang on, I'm sweating to death. 
I didn't use the hearts out of that Please Does Punch Designer Series paper tonight. I think I'm going to make a card like this for you guys next week so I can show you how to do it. I gotta figure it out first, but Arliss, thank you so much. I actually gasped when I like took this out and I'm like, oh, that's really neat. And then when I open it, I'm like, oh my Lord. Yeah, it's like stampers. It was orgasmic. Can I say that? I think I can. We're all adults. <laughs> okay, you guys, having a hot flash. I think we're done. If I happen to miss any of your questions, please feel free to email me at kelly at a stamp -above .com. Um, I always check my emails. That is the best way to get in touch with me, actually, is through email. Because if I happen to be out and about, I can reclose an email and star it to come back to it. Whereas if I get a text message, I can't do anything to remind myself. And if I get um, an instant message, can't do anything to remind myself. And I'm not super, super good about checking messages that people leave on my business Facebook page. I don't know why, but I just don't get those alerts, and so then I forget. Oh, Lord, help me. <laughs> um, do I have any St. Patrick Day card ideas? I do not, but I'll look into that. That's a great question. I will be live again next week on February 23rd at 7 p.m. Central Time. I have a lot of work this week to get those online classes, pre-cut cardstock packs and kits ready to roll. So I'll have a good tip video for you on Wednesday along with the joke of the week. You guys know I have a joke every week on my blog on Wednesdays because it's hump day and I think we should laugh about it. <laughs> yeah, okay, I'll let you guys go. Gosh, it's 8.30 already. I'll get these Cards, photographed, dimensions, everything typed up. You can find all the dimensions um, a little bit later above this video. Just so you know, it takes me a little bit of time to do all this and upload the video to YouTube so that I can then put it on my blog with the photos and the shopping list. And Yeah, it's a, it's a whole deal. I'm usually up pretty late on Sunday nights getting that all done. Every once in a while, like maybe once or twice in my life, I've actually had all that done before I went live. But... I'm not good at all that. I'm not good at getting things done ahead of time. Just saying. All right. Thank you guys so much. Thanks, Jeannie. And, oh, Jeannie just said she colored something green. Yeah, that would make a good um, St. Patrick's Day. So, yeah. Yeah, it's supposed to be icy out tomorrow. I am not going any place, so that'll be good. And, um... Thanks, you guys. Have a great night. Marsha, enjoy your Florida weather. I'm jealous. Okay, bye-bye.